Uh, this Instapot uh, is originally bought from Amazon five years ago. And, you know, today is you know, the first time we got the error message. Um, when you turn it on, you can see uh, what flashing us all the lights here and shows a C6 error. And, you know, doesn't matter what button you press, it, it won't respond. Pod is empty. So now I've checked the website. It said uh, uh, C6 is is the pressure sensor error. It only beeps, you know, for a couple minutes, and it will stop the beeping. But to fix it, uh, you know, uh, you have to open it up and find the pressure sensor. So we flip it. Okay, you unplug the pot and flip it upside down. And there's one screw. It's only one screw here. You can see there's a lock. This part is the sensor, the pressure sensor. Oh, okay, I can see here. I'm not sure if you can see here. So there's some burning, like the dark color there. Probably this part is burned, burned off. Um, anyway, it has uh, the sensor has three, uh, four cables, out, but actually there's only three plugs. One, two, three. There's so two cables linked to one. This. Okay. And if you can see here, the 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 cable, two cables has different levels. The lower level cable, the co the cable at the lower level, goes to the to this side. And the cable at the upper level here. This goes to here. So once I we unplug it, we have to make sure we put back exactly the way it, it's like this. Oh, this is just the, the white part is just rubber protector. And to get it off, you have to unscrew this part. So first, let's unplug this. Okay. Okay. The, I bought a, a new sensor from Amazon, uh, which cost me uh, around fifteen, sixteen dollars, I think, and it, it matched with this sensor. So what I will do is I already unplugged it. Oh, uh, the color! I noticed the cable color has changed a little bit, and uh, yeah, and this this new sensor will go up there and uh, and this lower cable you can see the lower ones as one goes to the to the first plug here and the second one goes here okay um, now we have to unscrew we have to unscrew the Two screws, one, and this is second one there, and this is the third one. This is the old sensor is off now, and we're gonna put the new sensors in there.
and this side goes to to here. Okay, one thing I notice uh, is the broken sensor, uh, the difference between the broken sensor and, and, and the brand new sensor here. The brand new sensor has, if you press it, you can hear the click. But my broken sensor, this side is working. You can hear the click. But if you press this side, there's no clicking. Okay, now I put this one on and make sure this is still clicking. And uh, now to put lead back. Um, lead has this, this part goes to the, the cable here. Has only one screw here. All right. Now we flip it around. Now we put the pot in it. Put the lid on uh, and we'll turn and, pl and we'll plug it. Let's see the moment of juice. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Uh, so the the C2 error is gone. Okay, I'll just put some water in it and test it. It's working for sure. Perfect. Thanks for watching.